神学式恐怖猴子受训狙杀美军。I don't speak Chinese. You probably don't either. Not to worry. Our buddies over at Fox and Friends do, so we get the straight poop. And trust me, this story is pure poop. From Gretchen Carlson. The backstory here is the Chinese newspaper People's Daily ran a hoax story alleging the Taliban is training "quote unquote" monkey terrorists to attack U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Bringing new meaning to the phrase "working for peanuts," these "quote unquote" monkey soldiers are fed peanuts and bananas as a reward for shooting American soldiers with AK-47s. And Bren light machine guns. Ridiculous? You betcha. By the way, this video isn't done by the People's Daily, but as I understand it, is a comical Taiwanese animation. Arrogant Fox News crawls all over the mainstream media for any offense, real or imagined. Ponder for a moment how they'd obsess over this if, say, the hated New York Times fell for this hoax. You want to bet they let Gretchen's embarrassment pass quietly? Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Hey everyone, Tom. Time for your、uh, Fox Flash. I'm Gretchen Carlson.、Uh, the war on terror may now involve battling monkeys. A Chinese news publication reporting that the Taliban is training monkeys to shoot and kill American soldiers. This particular photo is photoshopped, since no real photos have been released. As an incentive, the monkeys are being trained using bananas and peanuts at a secret Taliban base. The U.S. military or NATO has not commented on the report. That's your morning Fox Flash. I'm Gretchen Carlson. Start your day off right with a morning dose of Fox and Friends, 6 a.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Fox News Channel. See you then. We've seen a cowboy monkey riding a dog. We've seen them serve as waiters, bringing bottles and ashtrays. We've seen orangutans box. We've seen monkeys walk on stilts. But this we've never seen. Taliban trains monkey terrorists to attack U.S. troops. That's according to the People's Daily Online out of China. From there, the story ended up as one of those memorable animations featured on a Taiwanese tabloid's website. Did you tell me Taliban fighters are supposedly taking orphan monkeys and teaching them to identify American uniforms and shoot? Sounds like something out of Planet of the Apes. Jihad monkey screamed the New York Post. Monkey see, monkey kill. Even a monkey could shoot a hole in this story, but instead we let an expert on primates take aim, Dr. Sean Evans. Your basic reaction to the idea of a jihad monkey holding a gun, pointing it at American soldiers, is absurd. Sure, they can be trained. Watch how protective this Afghan soldier's pet is when an American soldier pushes his owner. <laughs> But Dr. Evans says training an impulsive monkey is incredibly difficult. It's possible to teach simple tasks like picking and tossing down coconuts, or switching on lights and opening doors for the disabled. Good girl. Okay, all right, all right. But identifying and targeting an enemy without the monkey shooting your side? I think it's a preposterous suggestion. Likewise, a U.S. defense official did not find the reports credible. The People's Daily says the CIA was the first to try to train monkey soldiers back during the Vietnam War using bananas and peanuts as a reward. Nuts, you say? Probably. A CIA spokesperson said she didn't know anything about it. But they have sent monkeys into space. For instance, Ham here took an 18-minute flight. A hero of space, happy to be back among friends. Yes, they did send monkeys into space, but they weren't exactly in charge of the aircraft. Imagine having something this impulsive in charge of a machine gun or a mortar. One blogger imagined a jihadist monkey yelling, "Bananas, Akbar! Bananas are great, but a monkey's aim." Good girl. Not so great. Maybe the terrorists should stick to monkey bars rather than monkeys. Jinimo, CNN, New York.